thank you very much for providing this opportunity uh, for digital net corporation to present about the technology so uh, this is like a, a technology uh, which is being used by more than 2500 uh, users and uh, there are some of the users from northeast region so i have a small presentation uh, so shall i present uh, you know about the software yes sir please yeah good thank sir. you so uh, can you see my screen yes sir okay so basically uh, all of us uh, you know are aware uh, about the manual you know textile design you know our you know textile designers are there so they can uh, you know explain about the experience of uh, manual textile design so basically it's like very uh, time taking and uh, you know like uh, tedious task so we, we try to uh, you know like optimize to you know like uh, to reduce the time to you know to create the uh, complete garment so this is just like ict enablement for creating designs for the you know uh, like uh, fabrics so this is just a uh, small process how do we you know uh, create the uh, fabrics like initially we need to create motifs and then definitely the motifs need to be uh, converted into graphs and punch card and then uh, again we need to uh, load these punch card on on the looms so there are different steps even uh, we we are involving the you know grassroots users from the starting so that at least they can get the you know uh, complete benefit of that software so software is to create the designs motifs uh, uh converting into graphs you know calculating the uh, bill of material so they can see the uh, fabric before weaving so all the components are there just i'll pre present one by one component so you can see that's a weave components because you know they need to create the weave to fill into the uh, design mm -hmm. and definitely uh, then they need to create the uh, digital fabric basically garment is just a combination of different component of uh, you know that fabric and again we are also providing the facility to uh, to render that digital fabric on to the uh, objects recently we also started on 3d objects that i will present uh, in the next slide so dovv basically just this weave is a combination of uh, threads up and down combination of thread so we have a library of weaves and uh, there's also provision to create new weaves into the software and yes that th this is for the uh, designers they can create their own design which will be uh, woven on the fabric they can create uh, the graph of that uh, weave and fabric is just combination of uh, weave and uh, design so they can put together design and weave along with the uh, color combination they can create a digital fabric digital fabric can be uh, you know like uh, integrated into a garment like sari sari is having like different components so we can put together to uh, to have a look on overall uh, garment so and this is the this is a very you know like a unique feature because we as a uh, human we have a limitation to uh, to you know envisage the number of colors based on the uh, color of warp and web but this color wise feature provide the in all the possible color combinations based on the different uh, com, you know different colors of warp and web so that you can see these are uh, computer or the software uh, uh, so, so all are digital fabric created by software itself and user can see you know they can uh, you know choose the uh, best fabric and the, all the technical detail will be available based on that fabric so there is also provision to to you know uh, to see the simulation of the fabric so basically we are uh, you know getting the uh, images of the uh, yarns and these yarns 
are uh, rendered on that uh, combination of design and weave. So just you can see uh, how the fabric will look like after weaving. This again, this is a part of. So uh, you know, apart from that, uh, you know, like uh, jacquard and uh, dobby. So that's also provision to create that ikat design. <coughs> And how uh, the designs can be, you know, like rendered on 2D objects. You can see uh, just creating the design, and then uh, you can see the overall look on the 2D objects. Recently, we we also started, uh, to to you know like uh, create our own 3D mannequin based on these are the uh, you know like uh, based on our uh, you know tradition in Northeast region. So we have taken the pictures from different aspects. And then we converted into 3D mannequin, and uh, you know, based on the designs, the uh, digital fabric has been created and uh, rendered on the, on that uh, 3D mannequin. So you can say these are the uh, local mannequin where you can see the uh, actual look of that fabric, which have like which is yet to be created uh, at the loom. Again, these are some other. These are only uh, digital fabrics. And uh, on mannequin, 3D mannequin. So this software is also uh, compatible with electronic jacquard because okay. handloom definitely takes you know like long time to uh, weave a fabric. So th the software is having that uh, you know like uh, compatibility to connect with the electronic jacquard. You can you know like uh, directly transfer that output because you know the other is just BMP formats. So you can uh, transfer that format to electronic jacquard. So uh, this is like a like feature which is in commercial software. So you can say the commercial software are available market, but uh, these software are very expensive. You can say one and a half lakh per user license. So some of the experts are already there uh, from the user side. They can explain their experience also. So we have a uh, uh, in the like a portal where this. Software can be downloaded along with the, all the user manuals, installation uh, process, and yes, operational videos are also there. So it's a dgbunai.dic.gov.in. So there, the software uh, is available with the you know latest versions. You can see we uh, we are engaging uh, the community. Actually, uh, this we started from uh, Varanasi itself. So even uh, Office of DC Handloom uh, was part of the process during the development, and uh, we are also considering the recommendations of different students, different uh, training centers. And uh, last in the last, uh, uh, you know, July, first of July, during Digital India Day, our honourable Prime Minister interacted one of our, uh, you know, beneficiary in Varanasi. So uh, it was appreciated by the users. Uh, you know, it's uh, reducing the time to to create the designs and converting to graph. So again, uh, you'll see we we are covering more than like 25 states. Uh, and uh, yes, that's a good thing is we uh, we have reached uh, up to like 72 textile institutions, training centers including Viva Service Center, uh, IHT, India Indian Handloom, uh, Indian Institute of Handloom Technology, NIFT. Polytechnic colleges and uh, other textile institutions. So uh, we are focusing on the uh, institution side because uh, for the institutions, it's very difficult to take more than one user license. They are usually taking one or two user license and sharing with all the students. But in our case, the software is open source, uh, available freely. They can download the software. They can use as many you know uh, softwares or versions of the software. They can use on the different computers. Even students can download at their own laptops. So, from the institution point of view, that's uh, you know like a very uh, good feature. Okay, this is available on uh, open source repositories. This can be downloaded. Even source code is available. If somebody want to contribute, that's a possibility to contribute. So, thank you very much.